What's up YouTube, I'm Cole Krugel, audio engineer and producer, and welcome to Cut to the Chase Cole, where we get straight to the motherf***er point. I'm pretty sure most of you may know this, but for those who don't, you can name buses in Pro Tools, rather than have them labeled by the default numbers. Naming buses allows you to stay organized in your workflow while eliminating the chances of flaws in your routing. As we all know, it can be annoying checking what input and output numbers correspond to your desired routing and sins that you wish to execute. Now I know for a fact that a bunch of you motherfuckers waste time figuring out why a signal isn't coming through or send isn't working, only to find out later that you chose the wrong bus number that doesn't correspond to the input, output, or send designated to the intended routing relationship. To get started, click the Setup tab at the top of the screen, and then next, click I.O. Now click the Bus tab. Either double click on the existing bus numbers to rename or click new path to add more buses. You can either choose mono or stereo depending upon what you want to do with it. Where it says path in the same dialog box, you can type in the name of the bus or you can create a new bus and replace the name afterwards like previously mentioned. For an example of ease, I have all my percussion tracks like my snare and my hi-hats in this example routed to a percussion bus by making the output of those tracks percussion and the input of the percussion bus set to percussion as well. I can also send my kick signal to a parallel bus with the input kick par by choosing kick par in my send section. This is how you name buses in Pro Tools. I hope y'all motherfuckers do that shit. Please, I get too many sessions sent to me that are disorganized. Stay organized for your engineer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And feel free to leave topic suggestions in the comments for more content geared towards you.